people? Here we go again. We're in Marco Island, Florida. Going out of the CAC samples. We're gonna see uh, what kind of bait they got over here. All right. All right, so this is the CAC samples marina. What do you think, Captain Aaron? What do you, uh, so we're gonna get some squid? Squid. All right, so we're gonna grab some squid. Um, probably get a couple of uh, the large ones. And you guys got shrimp out there? Um, we're at a live shrimp. We're waiting on a delivery. So All right. You know, now. between now and noon. Between now and noon. Yeah. All right, guys. So this is what we're working on. We got four bag of uh, four uh, boxes of shrimp. My buddy over here said, "Are you sure four boxes of shrimp?" I said, "Have you ever ran out of? I mean, have you ever bring home shrimp? No." I never bring back yeah. chunks, so. Nice calamari, then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna fry up some calamari here. Calamari. So, um, you had the four finger molars. So the, we got the, the that. We got finger molars right here. He four and um, you know they don't have a shrimp this morning. Obviously, you know it's it's, it's almost the summertime, so the shrimp is gonna run a little, you know, thin the supply. So um, uh, we're gonna try to go out there and uh, cast for some white bait, and um, hopefully, uh, you know, we can get put some on the on the live well. All right. All right. So we got some snack, and uh, we are ready. Beautiful day out here. We are doing this. It's been a while since. Uh, well, we were out here, well, not too far away, for a little bit. Um, a couple of weeks ago, I believe. If uh, my time doesn't fail me, I'm not too good with timing, so. Eh, I wasn't able to film anything out there because I was actually trying out my uh, new uh, radar system. Uh, my sim rod that I installed. So, that was a quick trip uh, a couple of weeks ago that I, I didn't film at all. Anywho, once again, we gonna head out. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Oh, for good luck. Good yeah, that's luck. it. That's it. I'm liking it. For good luck. All right. Ah, oh, man, it's precious day. Precious day. Cheers, man. <laughs> All right, guys. So we're gonna go south again. We're gonna go again, like the other day or the one day a few months ago. Um, we're gonna go to that uh, South Reef. Uh, that reef uh, is sponsored for me by my, uh, one of my good buddies, Hiberto Gil. So I hope uh, if he watches this video, uh, he enjoys that, you know, that I call his name out. Uh, anyways, thanks to him, we're gonna go and, uh, you know, we're gonna catch some, you know, we're gonna try to catch some big fish again. That's where we got the, you know, the big old monster Cubera that he got, or, you know, let me rephrase that, mango snapper. But that thing might as well could be a Cubera. That thing was huge. Uh, I got my mutton over there too. We got a cobia, you know. We did a we did a ride in that spot. Um, the kingfish started rolling in. I didn't have no wire then. Um, I bought some wire now. So and I believe you got wire too. So if they start rolling in, we're gonna again, you know, we're gonna try to you know catch some of them. And uh, you know. Right now, we're gonna go to the one spot that we got to see. If we uh, catch some uh, uh, bait, and uh, that's it. Life is good. Life is good. Finally, a, a, a day, a nice day. I'm off. He's off from work, and if all the planets lined up perfectly like they are so far right now, I, I'm, we're gonna be, we're gonna do all right. We're gonna do all right. What do you think, Captain? Hopefully, we we'll put some meat in the freezer. That's, that's right. That's right. Uh, so. 
we're gonna do this beautiful day we just came out of uh once again for those who doesn't know this is the caxambas marina um over there um you know we got further down that way we got cape romano and stuff like that I, you know, I get asked all the time, hey, where do you fish? Where do you fish? I say, listen, I, I, I don't I don't care tell people where I'm launching out of, you know. Um, out here, anywhere. Believe me, out here, anywhere. You don't really have to have a fishing spot out here. There's some spots out here that they are public. You can go online. Like the kid. The kid is public. Uh, which is a sunken boat, sailboat out here. That's public. Um, and you can catch some good stuff over there. Um, so we're gonna try that. We're gonna try some other stuff. So let's go. Yeah. All right, guys. After a long ride. I mean, it's supposed to be 33 miles, uh, but because we went north looking for bait about six miles and back, that put us another 12 plus, you know, so we probably uh, uh, drove about 46, 48 miles. So we found it here. We got a fast shum slick going on here. And uh, we got a slow one going on here. Like I said, we just got here, so we're gonna shum gonna jump bring them to the boat you know get them out of you know from the bottom and uh there's nobody out here you're hooked on jake get out of here no way oh look at that oh i, I like that i like that that we got some grouper let's get the big ones let's get it mom and daddy very nice. Cool. Woo, we got a flaggy. We got a flaggy right here. Oh yeah. I'm gonna feel the cooler. <laughs> All right. Huh? So we figured out what we gotta do now. Oh. Not here, not here, right here. Oh yeah. Yellow tail in my life. Alright. So here for Oh thanks buddy. Get some jerky right here. Good luck jerky. Tom. So, so we're putting a, a, a piece of uh, mullet by the size of um, representing the, the chump. And uh, what I'm doing is, I'm just letting it, you know, freeliner all the way back there because that's where the big ones are at. They're all the way back there. You know, waiting for that. Waiting for that nice piece of chump flying by them. And uh, so you gotta put some nice, Probably about a foot of uh, two feet of um, fluorocarbon, and um, probably about a one. I want to say about a one or two size hook, and just like I'm doing right here, just let it let it uh, slide back there. So just let it slide back there. So, I don't know if you guys can see it, but I got um, another line. And uh, that one I made it a mutton snapper line. I put about 15 to 20 feet of fluorocarbon with a um, one ounce uh, weight and just send it down. So these yellow tails are probably about, I don't say about a hundred, probably about between 50 to 100 feet in the back of the boat. So, 
So I'm just feeding the line to them. Pressure. Every nice yellow tail in our life. And mine just took off. And mine just took off. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Hey man, just took off. Oh, it's a screamer, Jake. Oh yeah. Oh, nice. Very nice, man. Oh yeah. Woo. And this one was deep. Oh yeah. Woo. Yeah. How about that, huh? How about that? How about that? <laughs> Very nice, man. We got him. Ooh. Woo. Very nice. Excellent. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Look at me. Oh. This is a screamer here. That was a screamer. A definitely a screamer. Very nice, man. Oh. What the? It may be me, dude. Here, let me go. Where am I at? Oh. Where? You doubled up? I'm doubled up. We're doubled up, man. Oh. Man, I like it. Let me get the gaff, Jake. Let me get the gaff. Oh, yeah. It's a cuda, dude. It's a cuda? So. No, that's not a cuda. Let me, let me run my fish in real quick and see. All right, I got I to gotta keep a yellow tail, I think. Oh, yeah. I think that's a key. Uh, that's a uh, that's a uh, zero macro. Yeah, that's what it is. Zero macro. Woo! Nice man. Spanish or something. What is it? Oh yeah, king, man. Very nice, bro. <laughs> Very nice, man. Yeah. I don't know how he didn't snap that line, dude. Is that a king or? Very one? nice. That's a big old, I tell you what that is. That's the biggest Spanish macro I've seen in my damn life. Yeah. <laughs> That's very nice. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Nice yellow tail. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Nice flag. Nice yellow tail. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> nice yellow tail. I <laughs> got dang it. <laughs> Woo! Fish on, fish on, fish on. Come on, give me another flag, baby. Yeah, another flag. Oh, I'm on this side of the line. Hey, Aaron. Yeah, what do you need? I need that. Can you grab that? Yeah. Woo! Well, it's a keeper. Not a flag, per se. But was definitely a keeper. guys uh, we're almost done for today uh, right now we're trolling uh, we saw some pelagic chasing uh, some bait I say it was uh, blackfin tuna my uh, friend right here he doesn't think I uh, 
there were blackfin tunas. I think it was an orca. I think it was an orca, so. I hope it's not an orca. Can keep those. So. Anyways, it's uh it's about 3 p.m. if it's not already. Um so we're gonna wrap it up. We uh, like I said we're trolling right now. I got a spoon and uh Aaron has a uh, Rapala a, Magnum. A Rapala Magnum. How deep uh, did they dive? Uh, this one's a 15 foot diver. Okay, 15 foot diver. So obviously we're targeting those, uh, you know, medium to mid to top water fishes. So overall, it was a nice trip. I mean, it was a little bit long because we went to one place to catch bait and that was like, you know, 12 miles away and then you know another 35 coming over here so uh, the water turned out to be even better before you know by the time we got here as you guys can see it's pretty glassy over here so we'll see uh, we can catch anything on the uh, on the top trolling right, for about you know 15 20 minutes Yours, yours, yours. Give me, give me, give me, give me. We got double. We got double. Oh my god. We got double. Woo! We got double. Sorry, guys. Hi. Right. This is crazy. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This is crazy. Hold on. I'm off. Camera, 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 camera. All right, guys. Woo! Oh yeah. We just doubled up trolling. I lost mine. Gonzo's still hooked up. He's far away, but uh, let's go. Hold on. Hold on. He's coming up. He's coming up. He's coming up. Is, yeah. it, is it your blackfin tuna? My blackfin tuna right here! Woo. I told you it was a tuna! I told you it was a tuna! I told you it was a tuna! It's a bonita though, but it's a tuna! There it is, guys. I tell you it was a tuna. <laughs> ah. I tell you it was a tuna. Oh man, Bonita, I wish it'd be a black fin. This is like a bait fish right here. It would be a nice chunk of meat for bait, but uh, you know, it's not really edible. Man, look at the colors. Huh. Oh, machine gun gonzo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, man, I really thought it was a uh, black fin. Uh, anyways, good, uh, nice rush. All right. Once again, thank you for watching. And uh, please, if you haven't done so, subscribe to my channel. Click the notification bell. And, uh, Spread the word, you know, Moho Fishing 101 from this uh, very humble host, this uh, skinny Cuban guy, and uh, my partner right here. This big American guy. <laughs> uh, I thank you a whole lot, and uh, I hope you enjoy it uh, just as much as we did. Once again, God bless, thank you, and uh, We'll see you guys in the next episode, uh, Moho Fishing 101. All right, guys. So, <clears throat> what we're going to have, um, what I'm going to do with the fish, as you can see, um, we got, you know, some nice uh, yellow tails. Um, I'm going to do what they call it, uh, the Cuban style. It's actually the one that we came up with this idea. It's called it Minuta, which is... Uh, basically, um, 
butterfly open the fish and try to utilize as much as the fillet as possible especially for the smaller fishes um, even though they're you know within the size or you know a little bit above the size um, you know you try to when you fillet them you lose a lot of meat so we're gonna do what we call a minuta um, like I said which is a typical um, you know Cuban um, cl uh, fish cleaning method um, I'm gonna set my GoPro right here and it's gonna be pointing at the fish while I'm doing the process Alright, so the first thing we'll do is uh, just take the scales off. Scale it really good. As you guys can see, I'm uh, scaling with a uh, fork. You know, a lot of people, they they waste a lot of money, you know, fancy with a scaler and stuff like that. Listen, just a fork from the kitchen, it's, uh, it does the job <clears throat> uh, either just as good or better than a, uh, than a uh, conventional uh, scaler. So we take all the scales off. Pretty much everywhere that you're going to um, try to consume the meat from. So once that's done, we're going to go ahead and, uh, you know, go to the fish. My table is not sturdy here. <laughs> it's a mischief table. i got to invest some money in a better table. So we go to the fish, take all the, you know, take all the, the guts out. We open up the where the gills are, and we cut down where the gills are. So once you cut the gills. You're gonna grab them and everything comes out. See? With the gills, rip it back and everything comes out. So, what you wanna do is make sure you get all the stuff, you know, whatever remaining of the uh, gall bladder and all that stuff that is in the stomach. So, once that's done, you come over here and you make a you make a cut like this. All right, Let's flip it around right under the front uh, fence. And another cut. There you go under the fin, and the head is off. All right. So the next procedure, let me see if I can get you guys a better angle. I don't think you guys uh, have a good angle right there. Here is, I'm gonna cut, you see that bottom fin right there? I'm going to make a cut right on the side, on both sides, right next to that, all the way to the back of the tail. Alright, so I'm going to do that for both sides. And I'm going to keep cutting along the, the middle bone. I'm cutting along 
that fillet and the backbone. Okay, so not all the way through. I want to make sure that, you know, that stays on there. I do the same thing from this side. And then either I rip the, the, you see, I rip the back bone out of the both fillets. You can do it this way. You can get a knife. Some people use a um, pair of scissors, which is really good. I don't have a pair of scissors because I don't, I don't, I don't usually do this. This is just for me, showing you guys, um, you know, a method to. You know, to if you like I said, if you catch that just enough size of a fish, but uh, you're not sure if you want to fillet it. So you still got that, you know, the fin on the back. Some people they uh, they cut it just enough to um, um, just enough to. Um, take that backbone without, you know, open, you know, with, without cutting the skin. And here comes the fly. <laughs> I guess summer is uh, is upon us. As soon as the flies, they smell the fish, man. They they're relentless. So as you can see now, I'm going through the rib cage, and I'm cutting. Just like you filleting, you know, you filleting up. I'm cutting up so I, I can, like I said, I don't lose that much meat. I do the same thing for this side right here. There you go, little cut on the front there. And then I work my way down. Just enough. I get those uh, bones without losing that much meat. Okay, now these bigger yellowtails, they do have some pin bones over here. You know, some people also use pliers to uh, Plug those uh, pin bones. All right, so we have two perfectly beautiful fillets with the skin on, and very little meat was lost on this uh, process. So this is called minuta. Minuta.